I just need some juice. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Juice God, and I'm back with a brand new tutorial for you guys on how to loop a track. So today we're going to be breaking down how to take any song or beat and to loop it to be however long you want. If you want to run that joint for an hour straight, be my guest. With this tutorial, once it gets done, you'll be able to do that. Today we're going to use Logic Pro 10 to show you how to do it, but it can, the fundamentals can be used in any DAW. Pro Tools, Ableton, it doesn't matter. But if you guys want me to do one specifically for those, let me know and I'll make it happen. Okay, so the first thing... Uh, we need to know to extend any beat or song is the BPM. BPM is short for beats per minute. And once you know that, you can align it to the musical grid and you can manipulate it to do whatever you want, basically. Um, and for those who are more experienced with making music, you know how important BPM is. Um, it's important for DJs, producers. Ev everybody needs to know what BPM is and how to, how to work with it. Okay, so... Let's get started. Um, I got Logic Pro open right now with the blank session. First thing we're gonna do is create an audio track. I don't need my input, so I'm gonna turn this off. Okay, and the song I'm gonna use is a song called Mr. I Don't Play by my artist Reek. What up, Reek? I engineered and produced this one, so definitely check it out when it drops this summer. Uh, Shamelessly plugging myself, no problem at all. <laughs> okay, so we got our track in here. Yeah, 828. Excellent. Uh, next thing we're going to do is get something on here to find out the BPM. So we're going to go over here. This is uh, our options to add plugins and stuff. We're going to go down to metering and BPM counter. Boom. Now, when I play the song, Logic will tell me what the BPM is. Yeah, fashion code. Always bag them hoes. Lil Wayne, ask them hoes. Dedication selling dope. What you need? I got more. Quarter weed. Excellent. So 70 BPM, I'm just going to adjust by clicking and dragging. Now we're at 70. Adjust my view here. Okay, that's as small as it goes. The waveform is kind of big because it's a mastered song. And I zoom in, even though that 70 appears to be the BPM, um, it's not directly aligned with the musical grid, as you see. Um, when the first kick drum comes in, it's not directly on that five. And I want it to be directly on that five because I want all my loop points to be clean. I want, if I want to chop this beat up or a song up, excuse me, and rearrange it or whatever, I want everything to be clean and exactly what I want. So knowing that first beat is going to be here. Fashion. I don't want it to be away from the five. Fashion. So a uh, simple fix. Uh, to, to get that right, go to the beginning of the file, and you'll see on a lot of MP3s and waves nowadays, there will be silence at the front. And you can go ahead and trim that, get rid of that, because that's not even really on your song. That's not a part of your song. So if we get rid of that, slide this over to the beginning. Let's see how good it lines up now. A lot better, a lot better. It's hanging over maybe a little bit, but it looks way better. Let's play it. Fashion. Fashion. Pretty close, but I think I wanna, you know, we all got OCD. I think I wanna bump it over a little bit. So I'm gonna use option and then the right arrow key. Boom, that looks a little better. Option plus the right arrow key or left arrow key is how you nudge in logic. So now, now that I got a good loop, or appears to be a good loop, let's test it by looping and seeing how smooth it repeats. 
Fashion code, always bag them hoes. Lil Wayne, ask them hoes. Dedication, selling dope. What you need? I got more. Quarter weed and some blow. What you need? Is the fuck with your boy, Mr. I don't play. Fashion code, always bag them hoes. Lil Wayne, ask them hoes. Dedication, selling dope. What you need? I got more. Quarter weed and some blow. What you need? Is the fuck with your boy, Mr. I don't play. Fashion sounds pretty good. Um, one thing about Logic's loop function, when you have it on, when you have the yellow bar on and it's looping, when it repeats, it kind of sounds messed up. A little, like very small difference between it it automatically looping for you and you manually looping, but it sounds a little messed up sometimes. But I think the loop is still good, and um, we're able to still manipulate it how we want. So. Now we're on the grid, we know the BPM, we trimmed off the unnecessary stuff at the beginning of the file. Now we're set up to loop uh, the beat pretty much, uh, or loop the song rather, sorry. <laughs> uh, loop the song to be however long we want. So let's go to the end and see how it ends. Uh -huh. Okay, so there's a fade at the end, so it wouldn't really do that good if we wanted to keep playing constantly. We wouldn't necessarily want to start it over here unless we wanted to make it appear like the song was ending. So if we wanted to start it directly over at 41, there's a quick way to do it. Um, so let's trim that little unnecessary piece at the end using Command-T and then Command-X. And it's really, really complicated how to do this next step. You guys ready? Select the file and then press Command R. And then it should have a perfect loop because that just makes whatever audio file you have selected repeat Command R. So. If we want, if we wanted to run the song down a million times, we could do that. Just Command R. Or we could take a short section. Let's say we just wanted this beginning part to repeat. Fashion code, always bag them hoes. Lil Wayne, ask them hoes. Dedication, selling dope. What you need? I got. We could repeat those those bars, just those. Command T, Command T. Command R. Fashion code, always bag them hoes. Lil Wayne, ask them hoes. Dedication, selling dope. What you need? Fashion code, always bag them hoes. Lil Wayne, ask them hoes. Dedication, selling dope. What you need? Fashion code, always bag them hoes. Lil really quick and easy. And the, the main thing to take away from this is you have to have the BPM of your track. And you have to be on the grid. When you're on the grid and you have the BPM, it's really easy to manipulate any song or beat how you want. And once you understand more about reading waveforms and, and how some delays and reverb will carry over into the next bar and, and it'll sound a little funny once it repeats and stuff like that, you'll be able to get more advanced and hands-on with how you edit things. But the possibilities are really endless. This is just to show, show those who don't know how to loop how to how to create a loop uh, using a doll logic is the example for today but you can do the same thing in anything pro tools fl ableton it doesn't matter uh, the fundamentals will be the same so yeah that's that's pretty much it hopefully that's helpful for you guys if you guys have any questions or got any ideas for any more tutorials you guys want me to make let me know if you got your own tips about how to loop a song or beat Definitely drop them in the comments and let me know what doll you guys are using also. That's it. Juice Guys signing out.